Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Okay, so today we've got butterfly number one, two and three. Uh, butterfly number one, I've chose my pyramid of tiger's eye. Maybe there's a bit of a, a message there to be had with that. The tiger's eye, protection, protect yourself. Um, number two, I've chosen the clear quartz crystal today with butterfly number two. And butterfly number three, I don't know if you're picking up the beautiful colours on the camera with all of that or you can't see it. But that is a piece of labradite beautiful piece of polished labradite very nice so tiger's eye clear quartz labradite one two and three does that person uh, think about me or is it all in my head so take a moment pause the video if you need to and choose the butterfly that's calling to you Hopefully you get the answers that you're seeking, but let's see if, if that person that you're thinking about, obviously you're thinking about them, so do they think about you or is it in your head? Straight up we got the betrayal card. Um, now this can go two ways. It's either you've been betrayed in the past and that's why you're wondering about this other person, or the person you're thinking about has been betrayed. Um, it's also, there's some sort of stress around family or a friendship that's going on with this person. So are they thinking about you? I'd have to say no with this first card, um, but there is some sort of betrayal issue there. Now, the next one's the Eight of Cups, so definitely a betrayal of some sort that went on. Now, this even can be a betrayal within a family this person you're thinking about, or you yourself, you're watching this. Some sort of event has happened here in the family. And then this is the emotional, walking away from the emotions. So we've got a yes and a no card here. Are they thinking about me? Emotional, there's an emotional attachment here with you. Maybe um, you had an encounter and you've been thinking about this person. Um, maybe you were in a celebration because this represents like eight of hearts to me. Um, I know it's a tarot card. It's saying eight of cups, which is all about walking away from the emotions. They've all built up and it's time to move forward. Um, but for me, this represents like the eight of hearts, which is a celebration. So I, I, I've got a feeling that you... You were at some party or some gathering, or it might have even been a, a, a business trip, or um, might have even been at TAFE or, or uni. And you've come across this person because there's a gathering of people over here to me. And you're wondering, what do they think? Do they think about you? Well, this would be that they, they thought things were fun, um, lighthearted, a bit of emotion stuff going on, but there's this negative card sitting over here, which is the betrayal. So, so far it's a 50-50. Let's get some more information. Dreaming. <laughs> Are you dreaming? This is, uh, maybe they're dreaming about you. Maybe they, they, they got this impression like, does he or she think of me now since we met up with each other? Like, I do feel there was some sort of connection um, and it was a, a group of people and you're wondering whether they got this same connection you've got going on. Um, so far at this stage, it's showing that the connection, the betrayal of trust some, of some kind, and the dreaming, like they're in, you're in their head, put it that way, but how much of a connection, how much they're thinking of you, I just want to keep having a look here. Ah, oh, listening. So the listening, open up your ears and um, let the messages flow through. So I do feel there's been a connection. You've met the person and they were listening to everything you were saying. Um, it's also listening with your heart and your intuition and getting guided by all of that. Okay, so we've got growth. 
the growth card means that this thing will start to grow. So yes, I'd have to say, even though I said right at the beginning this was indicating no. Like no, they don't think of you as a friend, a lover, nothing. The, this first card, but all the rest of them are painting a story of two people that met at some special occasion or like I said, it could have been a, a school, um, it could have been a work thing, it, it could have even been in the shopping centre. Um, there was some sort of interlude, some sort of conversation went on. I, I don't even know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like no conversation actually went on. I'm just thinking that um, you've dreamt about this person and you're wondering, are they dreaming back? This tells me when the growth card comes down that if you contact this person, something will grow. A friendship might start, a love might start. Um, if you were in a relationship with this person, you're wondering what, you know, are they thinking about you right now? And what do they think about you right now? They want to leave the betrayal or the mistrust or there might have been a third wheel in the relationship. There might have been an ex or um, someone else in the picture. Um, they want to leave that all behind and they want you to listen. So you might not have listened in the past. So if this is about someone that you used to be with and you're wondering what do they think about you right now, I'd have to say yes, of course, they're thinking about you, what I'm seeing here. They're hoping that things will grow. Um, if it's someone that you've met and you haven't had a conversation with and you, you, you felt a connection, obviously you've felt some sort of connection there, um, yeah, something will grow if you contact this person. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put some of my trusted old um, playing cards down, poker deck. And let's just get, uh, what will we do? We'll do three because the first card was a three. Just a little bit more information. Okay, that's enough two, three. Okay, there's the big love card, wishes coming true. So yes, I'd have to say this person, whether it's an ex, whether it's someone you've just met, they are thinking of you. They're wondering whether something will grow. I do feel there is somebody else involved in the picture. So it might be a husband or a wife, a boyfriend or a girlfriend that this person already has. Um, and there's some sort of ending going on there. They don't want to be with that person anymore. Because um, this is basically a divorce card, what I'm seeing here in the middle. So they could be, they don't have to be married. It's just a separation between two people. And then followed by this big new love connection. So yes, butterfly number one, I'd say yes, they are thinking about you. And it's not just all in your head. There is the dreaming the dreaming card would have told me that yes, it's all up in your head and you're a very emotional person, you're, you, you're building up emotions and you've had some sort of hurt or betrayal in the past. So you're thinking, oh, you know, I, I, want, I want this person. Um, yeah, so this is wishes coming true. So if there is someone out there and you're one, wondering, what do they think? You know, are they thinking about me and what do they think? They're thinking about you in a loving way they think about you, that something's nice. The little Jack of Diamonds here, he usually represents the postman, the email, the phone call, um, the message. Someone's going to let you know. Or you might have contact with this person and realise that, yes, there's something there. There is something there. So lucky butterfly number one. That, that's a nice little um, reading there. So I hope that helped. But no, I don't feel it's all in your head. I do think there's some sort of connection. So good luck with that. Okay, butterfly number two. Does that person think about me or is it all in my head? Let's have a look. Well, first up, we've got the Queen of Cups. Now that could be you. And then we've got the Traveller. We've got the Page of Wands ready to go on the journey. Uh, this is a definite couple, but the way I'm looking at this, they're looking opposite sides. She's looking this way, he's looking that way. So at the moment I'm not getting an answer, I've just got two people here. So where are my cards? I'll just grab one. 
see if we get a, a better answer here. What's the strength card? Ooh, this is strong emotions. So if you're watching this, you've got some pretty strong emotions going on here about this person. Now, I'm not sure whether you're her or him watching this right now, but um, nothing sort of coming, gelling together with this person just yet. I'll get a bit more information. Oh, this is someone from the past. Okay, so you might be thinking about someone and you haven't seen this person for many, many years. It might be an ex-lover, ex-husband, ex-wife. Um, it might be even someone you went to school with and you're thinking years and years have passed. Do they think about you because you've been thinking about them? I do feel that this, there's an overseas type thing here. They may have moved or they may have moved interstate. I do feel that this might even be um, something online and they're at a distance, but there's some sort of past connection between the two of you. Um, maybe you had a brief interlude and it was long, long ago, or maybe you even had a big solid relationship and a lot of times passed, they've got married, they've had some kids, or you got married and had some kids and, and now you're divorced or or you're on your own, and, and it just shows me, I'm picking up all of this, that there was a connection. You went separate ways, there wasn't any argument or anything. Um, it took strength to do that. You got the strength card there. So I just feel like there's some sort of journey. Maybe you were young at the time and very, very young, or maybe it was only a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago, but you had this interlude, you were with this person, whether it was a long thing or a short-term thing, and then one of the two wanted to go in a different direction, wanted to jump on that plane, or, or if you're very young and you were living at home with the parents, you may have, your parents may have moved interstate or moved overseas and you had to go along for the ride and you've been torn apart here. Um, but yes, uh, this is thinking shadows of the past. So let's have a look what else we've got. Trust in yourself. This is all about trust. Now, there may have been a trust issue between the two of you because I keep feeling like this is a distant relationship. I keep feeling like this is someone that you talk to online. Um, yeah, it, I, I don't think that you're in the same area of each other at the moment. But you need to have trust in each other if you are having conversations right now and you're wondering, you know, are they thinking about you or is in your head? I do feel you're both thinking about each other, but it's at a distance, so there's a bit of a problem there. Oh, and committing to the happiness. So I'd have to say this is a yes again. This is another yes one, but it's a different circumstance here. So let's just get a couple of these. Friends, friends, friends. If you're asking, do they think about you or is it in your head? They do think about you, but they think about the friendship. Now, I do have to say there's cards here that represent fertility, sex, and uh, even um, a possible pregnancy thing that went wrong or thought you were pregnant and you weren't pregnant. Um, you thought she was pregnant, but she wasn't pregnant. Um, there's something like that to do with a, a fertility type thing going on. But because we've got shadows of the past, um, yeah, I, 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 they are thinking about you. It's not in your head, but they're not thinking about you as being together. They're thinking about, can we have a friendship or not? Can we keep this thing going? And um, I'll just get a couple more of these. Let's see what we got here. A journey again. This is a journey to me. Um, it's all about responsibilities too. At the moment, they someone was irresponsible in the past. So yeah, they are thinking about you, but maybe not the way you would like them to think about you. Um, it's I'm getting the friendship zone thing here. And if you were wondering, were they thinking about you in a romantic way? And are you going to be get nothing here is showing me that. But yeah, they are thinking about you. Commit to your happiness, though. You're watching this for a reason. 
maybe it's time to let this this feeling this thing go and just think well it's a new it's, it's a friend there's friendship still there and as I said if it was someone that you met you're out and about and you met someone and then they've they've gone or it's someone from your past because you do have the past card um, maybe you try and with all your might that's why you got strength you're hot holding on tight to what you would like it to be like trust in yourself know that you can have happiness um, but yeah they think about you but not not the way you're wanting not at this point anyway not for now so that's butterfly number two okay off we go again butterfly number three is this person thinking about me because obviously I'm thinking about them um, or is it all in my head so let's see what I chose for this person Ooh, <laughs> we've got the lovers and we've got a battle going on this is a war of words so there has been a past connection between you two and it may not have been as favorable as you would have liked but in the mix of it all you're you're holding on to this whole lovers thing and being together um yeah so this to me is like um there might be a distance thing going on here too a travel problem because five to me is all about traveling and movement and change this is a resistance to change so when the person thinks of you they think about this battle that happened but they also think about this connection that you two share so yes all three of the readings today are that they think about you but there's all a whole load of big story behind the, the this why they're thinking about you or what they think about when they're thinking about you so no it's not just all in your head um, on the one side of the coin we got the lovers and they're nice and close and they're shutting out the world and they want to be together now this could be that this is what you're wanting with this person but I do feel we're asking the question what do they think about me so they would like to have this this union together where they shut out the world but there's some sort of resistance here there's a change and there's a war of words going on and I feel this is a male energy over here um, I think there might be a male in the picture now this could be a child it could be a best friend it could be a father it could be a brother um, someone's got a negative tone to what they think and they may influence this person that you're thinking about so let's just get more information pricking up your ears and listening need to see what what it is they're actually saying I, I don't think that when they this person when they talk to you and um, it might be a text conversation it might be a cam conversation where you're on the camera it might be in a group of people where you're having a bit of a chat um, I don't feel you're listening to what's being said as to what it is they're thinking about you but they must have given you some kind of indication because we've got the lover sitting here that this could be more that they are thinking about you in that way but make sure you're listening to all of what's said and not just selective hearing when I see this. Transition. So hopefully the transition is they're thinking every time we've talked or every time we've got together, some sort of battles happen, some sort of problem with transport or we can't get there or, or someone's interfering, some guy interferes. Maybe it's someone from your past or their past. There's some sort of problem there. And like I said, this five could even represent a child. Um, there's some sort of interference there, but there's a transition phase. So that's what they're thinking about. They're thinking that um, maybe somehow we can transform this relationship and change what's been going on here. And the last one is alternative mm, this could be alternative lifestyle alternative type of relationship and I feel like I'm missing a card here I'm going to grab one more of these ones just for more information 
yeah, there's some kind of <laughs> the emperor, some kind of pushy male male thing here going on that um, influences how this person thinks about you. But there's, uh, I think they think that you're you're living in alternate lifestyle, alternative type things going on. They do feel the love thing. I do feel you need to listen more closely to what's being said. And there's a transition phase. So I think they feel that they would have to change. That's what they think. To be with you, for you two to have something, you or them would have to change because something is changing here. Okay, so we've got some more cards here. Um, red to me is yes, black is no. Do they think about me? Indeed they do. Uh, we have the massive, massive love thing there. We have property for some reason, some sort of house and property and all of this sort of thing going on. Um, there's responsibility and doing things the responsible way. So... Like I said before about this could represent a child back here and then this could represent the child and the parenting and this is doing things the right way. Um, I think they feel that you're a very responsible type person, a very loving person. Um, they might be thinking about money, about how much money you've got, how much money they've got. Um, this is usually success as well, what I'm seeing here. So they might be thinking about the success or fame. I'm feeling this thing about fame here. So that's what I've got for butterfly number three. That's it. Yes, they think about you. If you would like a personalised reading, contact me at psychicbetty at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.